Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope we are well. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Hello. If you're not new here, don't forget to hit the notification bell because it helps me out a super bunch or just generally have a little interaction with this video because it's it helps me out a lot today i am going to be doing something that has been very much requested i recently started doing a weekend roundup on my instagram it's become a weekly occurrence i usually upload it on either the sunday evening or the monday and basically it is just a roundup of what i got to at the weekend and i curate these stories through like different collages storytelling whatever every time i upload it i always always get people asking how I edit my photos, how I put the stories together. So I thought I would today show you how I do that. So first of all, I don't really Instagram story much like when there's an activity going on. So not just at weekends, but if I go to an event, if I'm out for a day out, I don't Instagram story on the go because I'm all about living in the moment, not always being on my phone. So I just take quick snaps or videos on my phone or on my camera. Um, a lot of the time I will use e like the camera that I've got with me, like my SLR, or I'll use my G7X, um, and then I will import the photos, whatever, like later on in the day. Or I'll just use my phone. I will make boomerangs and just save them. I record video clips and then save them. Um, but I don't like post, I very, very rarely post on the go when I'm out doing something. I just, I just think, you know, you Spend time shooting it, editing it, open up Instagram, posting it, you know, doing little captions, whatever. And it just, I'm just not about that. So I do it later on in the day. Like when I'm winding down, if I'm sat down on my own or what have you, I'll, or in the bar, I will fire it up, fire up my apps and then build like the story of my day or the recap of my weekend. So. Uh, there are a few apps on my phone that I like to use. I sometimes edit my pictures on my computer. I use Lightroom. I will just import them onto my computer and then once I've edited them, I will airdrop them to my phone. But if I haven't had the time or the facilities or my computer around to do that, I will just import them onto my phone via the Wi-Fi from my camera because my cameras have like connection thing, a phone, and I'll use Lightroom on my phone phone. I love Lightroom. I have previously bought presets on there. So presets are basically filters, um, but I have been making my own presets, which I use now when I edit my photos. So all of my pictures have like a coherent, uniform, same kind of look. But so generally this is how it kind of works. So I'll just take a picture. What I'll do is I'll open up Lightroom and I will add that picture that I took of myself and edit it so i have at the bottom here my presets and some of these ones i have previously bought some of them are the ones that i've made the ones that i the one that i use all the time is warm and nice is one one that i've made and as you can see it has changed the picture and i can change things about so i can tweak things i can bring the lightness down a bit um i can change the warmth of the picture just a tad and that is basically the edited image. I will then save it to camera roll. And one thing that I really like about Lightroom is that you can copy and paste settings. So that edit that I just did on that picture, I can paste onto another picture. Like this one, I can just get paste and da da. It's been edited, I'll save that as well. So you just can save to camera roll. You can also select multiple pictures and save them all at once. So you're not like going through all of them. I might, if I want to, if I want to make it look a little bit more edgy or a little bit more nostalgic and film-like, I will use an app called Afterlight, which is here. And basically Afterlight, you can add more effects to pictures. So let's take this one and you can add things like dust. It's got its own filters. It's got its own set of filters at the bottom. You can change lighting settings, brightness, contrast, vibrance, etc. as well. But I like using these. So dust, so dust here. All these different dusts at the bottom. You can pick different effects that like some have hairs on, cracks on. So it'll look like it's film or a bit of paper and you can layer all these to make them look even more grainy, even more like older. You can add like particles in there just to make it look like it might have been taken on an old camera. Um, a thing that I like to do is chroma as well, which adds like this distortion to the picture. So you could do that again, makes it look like it's been taken on an old camera, like an old Lomo or something. You can do double exposure, you can do color shift, which is a fun effect. All these different things, or if I hit light, oh God, you can add light leaks, which is really fun. There we go, That that is a completely different picture. Hit next. 
No thanks. For editing video from my phone, whether it's like video that I've filmed from my phone or if I've done a boomerang and I've saved it, I love using the film app, which Zoella made with some people that made a color story, I think. Anyway, so you can import video, let's say, let's say the skull here, and first of all, you can crop it to different sizes, which is really nice, but obviously it's for Instagram stories, so it's gonna be 16 by nine. Um, you can rotate it, you can flip it, um, you can trim it, so you can trim the length of the clip, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, you can do different adjustments, like brightness, curves, contrast, etc. But I like to use the filters. So I always use the VHS one and just adds cool effects onto it. Again, with this one, you can layer these two. So there's the color filter. I can add like this cool shit onto it on top. Glitches, those are cool stuff. Dust, so much fun. Just to give it like that edge, that like extra oomph, like, I know it seems like a lot of effort, but when you're watching it back and people watch like this story, it's just just so much, it's just nicer to watch, isn't it? And that's just one of the ways that I edit the video. There's things on here that I use like Visco Cam um, sometimes, Video Leap I might use sometimes. There's a bunch of different apps, but yeah, the main ones that I use are Lightroom, Film, Afterlight, and maybe sometimes Retouch, not to retouch me, but sometimes to remove unwanted ugly items from a photo. Very rarely use Huji, but Huji is still quite good. And then, once the pictures are all edited and imported and saved onto my phone, I will then put things together by using an app called Storylux. Now, I was using Unfold, but I find Storylux has just got way more selection. You go into Templates, and there are all of these new, all of these frames that you can use, which is so great. I normally use Element, or I'll use um, Film. Basically the idea is, let's pick one. Let's pick an easy one. You pick a frame, like, oh my God, they're all locked. If you buy the full version of the app, they're, they're unlocked. Like, let's go this one. So then you pick it, so you go through, and then you can pick pictures and you just like that. Food, this is a food one. And then you go export, camera roll, da 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 da. And voila! And you can have so much fun with this. You can just pick different, oh my god, look at that, that looks so good. Different frames. I love this app, it just makes them look so nice. Even if it's just one picture and you just want it to be in one frame, like with these ones. Just makes things look so nice. Once you've like decided how you wanna frame everything, you can keep adding new ones, save them. Eventually you'll just have like loads, loads of these sorts of things in, on your camera roll. Then what you need to do, it does, it does require organization in your brain. You need to think of like how you're gonna tell the story and like what order you want it to go in. But then after you've done that, you'll then obviously go like this, swipe up, pick your pick like this and go, Mmm, food, you know, and you can just edit, move it around, ta-da, and then post it. So that's kind of how I do it. It's, it takes me about an hour, I would say, to do a weekend roundup, roundabout. They're quite long. That's from like editing all the pictures and then putting them in the frames and then figuring out what order they're gonna go in, doing the little captions. Um, I just like to make it fun. Yeah, and I will use the same filters pretty much for all of my pictures. I like to keep my pictures, uh, my sort of feed on my Instagram looking concise. Yeah, I'll just use a preset. I'll tweak the preset depending on if it needs a little bit more light, or if it's a bit too dark, etc. If I wanna bring out certain colors, if I wanna mute certain colors, it will be dependent on the actual photo. But yeah, I just use Lightroom and some filters. That is basically it. It's kind of easy. It does require, I guess, some idea of how you want your story to be told, a little bit of storytelling skill. But yeah, that is it. I hope it was useful. Um, I'll put all the links to all the apps that I use in the description as well. That is it, everyone. Thanks for watching, I hope that was useful. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you're not new here, give me some love. Or give me a little comment or a like. Or hit the notification bell, it's really helpful. See you later, farewell, bye.